Protect our planet. Go eco. Go eco. Walk to school or cycle. Go eco. Go eco. Turn off the tap. Switch off the light. Recycle what you can. Help protect our planet. Go eco. Go eco. Hello, I'm Maddie. I'm just putting the rubbish out. Did you know that lots of things you throw away can be used again? It's called recycling. I've got some paper and card here. They go in this brown bin. Do you recycle at home? It's a good thing to do because it means instead of all these old things just being thrown away, they get made into new things. Now that's what I call really smelly. Oh, yeah, that's what we call smelly too, Missy. <laughs> what is that? The first step in recycling is to separate the rubbish into different piles. Some rubbish is man-made and some is organic like this. Like food and garden waste. Exactly. This is the reuse station. Beep. These things don't need to be recycled into something new. They're things that people no longer want but are still good enough for someone else to use as they are. Then my communicator might be here. Huh. Everyone, start looking. Wow! So many things getting a second chance to be useful. Like this. One person's rubbish is another monster's snack. Yum! Wow! It's huge! It has to be to sort out so many different types of rubbish. Paper and card. Beep, metal. Oh. Beep, plastics. Until all that's left is glass. Beep. Oh, oh right. Oh. Uh, where do the other belts go? Oh, oh, I, I know this. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Zoom, your assistance, please. The paper goes to be shredded and turned into clean new paper. The plastic and glass can be recycled into new containers, and the metal goes to be melted down and turned into new metal things. And there's lots of other things we can recycle at home too. We can make sure we reuse carrier bags that we get when we're out shopping, and we can reuse old bits of paper and envelopes to write and draw on. <laughs> Rod, let's see how much you know about composting. Um, how does all the waste get turned into compost? There's lots of creatures that live in the compost and in the soil, like slugs and snails, and most important are lots and lots of worms. Most of them will eat the food, and what comes out the other end is compost. That's how compost gets made. We are going to make a rot bot, a compost bin in a bottle. We're going to put plant material in here, and it will rot down and turn into compost, like this one. And then we can plant a seed in it and it'll grow, and then we can plant that in the garden. Very good. So, what do you reckon, Tiddlers? Shall we have a pop at making some rot bots? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Gloves are very important. We should never handle compostable material with our hands. And a grown-up needs to cut the top off the plastic bottles. Who would like some mouldy lettuce? Me! There you go. Have some old lettuce. Cardboard and paper in compost bins uh, contains lots of carbon and it stops it going wet and slimy. Oh, well, that's good for us, isn't it, Tiddlers? Because we don't want it to be too smelly, do we? No. So, what have you got in your rock bot, Kian? Hay, rats, petals. And it's good, isn't it? Because otherwise, all this stuff it could be thrown away. But we are using it, aren't we? Yeah, we. we I'm going to wait them to turn it into compost. And we're going to use it to make new stuff. Yeah. So we can do some planting in there's this. There's useful stuff. And, uh, Rod, how long will it be before these rock bots are ready for planting? They normally take about six weeks. Six weeks? In a nice sunny position, it will sink down as it rots, and then you will top, top it up more material. And then it will be ready to put the plant in. But why was there so much junk in the water? 
When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Shiver me whiskers! Look at all that rubbish! With these nets, we'll have it cleaned up in no time. But, Captain, what do we do with the rubbish once we scoop it up? Don't worry about that, Dashie. We'll put the rubbish into this octobin. And then take it back to the octopod to recycle. <gasps> Octonauts, let's do this. Up, Octonauts, we're making good progress. How about these leaves? Not litter. Not litter. And we've got a crisp packet. Letter. letter, definitely. We might see some of those today. Now we're off to find rubbish and tidy up. There's a couple of tiny little bits of litter down here. <laughs> Going for the bottle. Is this banana skin litter? It is a natural thing, isn't it? But we don't usually find bananas on the towpath. And do you have any idea how long it will take this to rot down and we leave it here? A week or three weeks? It's actually a lot longer than that. It could take about two years for this banana skin to go away. So we will pick this up and put it in our bags. Ow! The Academy is where it's at. With Ubercon's Funky Top Free! When food waste, like lunchtime leftovers, rots and goes all mushy, it gives off a gas. This is called biogas. Two! Biogas has many uses, including heating, lighting, and cooking. So it's a clever way that food waste can help to make even more food. Now that's Recycling. One. Biogas energy is cleaner energy. When vehicles like the Grimbler swap old engines for biogas engines, it's better for the air and great news for our planet. Today we're in Dorset to meet Justin. He works at a plant where people bring green waste like this. It's made up of things like garden rubbish and old bits of trees that come from places like parks. We're going to take green waste, something that no one really wants, and recycle it into something really useful for farmers. It's compost. Farmers love to use compost in their fields to feed the soil and help their crops grow. When the green waste arrives, first we have to check it to make sure it's suitable for our plant. We don't want anything in there that might ruin the compost so we take things out, like plastic bags. Ah, oh, there you are, Tiddlers. Hello. Hello, Mr. Wood. Oh, it's nice to see you, Michaela, and you must be Charlie and me. So, what are you up to today? We're letter picking. Oh, hey, well, that sounds a very good thing to do, because I saw a fair amount of litter on my way in today. Tell us why it might not be good for the glen. Because it could affect the whale glen. That's right. And also, it's not very nice to look at, is it? The tiddlers know they must always wear gloves when litter picking and never pick up litter with their hands. Always use a grabber. Some rubbish can't be recycled, and that's like sweetie wrappers and crisp packets, so they have to just go straight in the black bag. Lovely. I know why we need to do litter picking. If you don't do litter picking, it's bad for the environment. Mm -hmm. It's to keep the world uh, healthy. Right, so what kind of rubbish have we got here? Oh, we've got some plastic and we've got some metal. Yep, pop them in. Because they don't need to be thrown away, do they? Yeah, they can be recycled. They can be turned into something new or they can be used again. <laughs> 